it is easier to do a job right than to explain why you didn't. The less government interferes with private pursuits, the better for general prosperity. The government should not be guided by temporary excitement, but by sober second thought. There is a power in public opinion in this country, and I thank God for it, for it is the most honest and best of all powers, which will not tolerate an incompetent or unworthy man to hold in his weak or wicked hands the lives and fortunes of his fellow citizens. As to the presidency, the two happiest days of my life were those of my entrance upon the office and my surrender of it. Most men are not scolded out of their opinion. Is it possible to be anything in this country without being a politician? No evil can result from its slaveries, inhibition more pernicious than its toleration. I shall tread in the footsteps of my illustrious predecessor. Those who have wrought great changes in the world, never succeeded by gaining over chiefs, but always by exciting the multitude. The first is the resource of intrigue and produces only secondary results. The second is the resort of genius and transforms the universe. In time of peace there can, at all events, be no justification for the creation of a permanent debt by the federal government. Its limited range of constitutional duties may certainly under such circumstances be performed without such a resort. There is but one reliance. The second, sober thought of the people is seldom wrong, and always efficient. I tread in the footsteps of illustrious men, whose superiors it is our happiness to believe are not found on the executive calendar of any country. The national will is the supreme law of the republic, and on all subjects within the limits of his constitutional powers, should be faithfully obeyed by the public servant.